Before talking about Knuth Morris Pratt algorithm, let's see how the naive algorithm to solve the same problem works. We will slide the pattern over the text and match the corresponding letters in each iteration. And if a match is found, we will note its index. The time complexity of this approach is big O of n minus m plus 1 times m divided by 2. Here the pattern travels n minus m plus 1 times over the text, and in each iteration, on an average, it compares m divided by 2 characters. Simplifying this will give the complexity big O of n times m. Now, Knuth Morris Pratt algorithm solves this problem in linear time complexity. It first pre-processes the pattern to find what is called a prefix suffix table, or the longest prefix suffix. It just verifies whether a prefix is repeating somewhere in the pattern or not. By doing this, we can avoid unnecessary comparisons while performing the search. Here A is not repeating anywhere before it, so we will put a zero. Same with B. Now this A is repeating again with the first letter, so we will put one in the table. This, AB, is repeated again with the first two letters, so we will add two. This C is not repeating in the prefix, so we will add zero, and we'll repeat the same process to find the longest prefix suffix table. This is the code for doing the same thing. It takes linear time complexity. Now we will perform the Knuth Morris Pratt algorithm using this table. Initialize variable j that will loop over the pattern and a variable i that will loop over the text. Initially set both to zero index and start matching the corresponding characters. Here, the first letter did not match when the value of j was 0, so we will increment i by 1. And when the corresponding characters match, increment the value of both i and j by 1, and repeat the process. When the next characters mismatch, and when the value of j is not 0, just change the value of j to the value at j minus 1 index of the LPS table, and repeat the process. And when a pattern match is found, just increment the values of i and j by 1. And note the index, and again change the value of j to the value at j minus 1 index of the LPS table to find further pattern matches. And repeat the same process again.
When the I value reaches the end, the process will stop. This is the code for the algorithm. It only contains one loop, so the time complexity is linear. The overall algorithm takes linear time complexity, big O of M to find the LPS table, and big O of N to perform the matching, so the final complexity is big O of M plus N.